Hello everyone! So today we are going to finally do the long-awaited luxury thrift haul. I'm so excited guys, stay tuned. Hello everyone and welcome. If you're new to my channel, my name is Caleb and on here you're gonna find a lot of things like, I don't know, luxury shopping, reveals, reviews, unboxings, luxury travel, daily vlogs, pretty much anything that has to do with life and style, you're gonna find it right here. So before we go any further, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below, give this video a thumbs up, say hi down in the comments, Find me over on Instagram, caleb.snell.designer. Keep in mind, I post new content every Wednesday and Sunday morning at 10 a.m. Central Time. I have been promising this thrift haul for what feels like weeks. So basically, long story short, I had my appendix taken out in early June, and while I was laid up on the couch feeling kind of good, I did a lot of online shopping. Now, I normally do a lot of online shopping, but this was on another level. I went a little out of control. I bought several pieces from Coach, Duny & Burke, Burberry, all at like bargain basement thrift prices, which is kind of amazing. That's why I bought so much because I'm like, why not? A lot of these things today I either found on eBay, shopgoodwill.com, Poshmark. So everything here kind of has like a vintagey, thrifty vibe. Well, a few pieces are kind of rare, older coach items, which I am so excited to share with you guys. Now, a lot of these pieces I bought kind of to go with and in conjunction to my last luxury thrift haul. So if you haven't caught it yet, Link down in the description. Okay, we're gonna start out with one of my favorites, Dooney and Burke. Now, you're thinking like, Caleb, like, Dooney and Burke, hear me out. I, I already went into the history of this collection, like in my other video, so if you haven't watched that yet, wait till after we're done here. Pop over there, it's a whole odyssey of, kind of like Olive Garden, sending chefs over to Italy to learn how to make authentic Italian food for a full weekend. Peter Dooney sent a team of handbag designers to Italy to kind of do the same thing. Reverse engineer an it bag, if you will, and thus born was the it collection. Now, this was on the arm of every girl in high school. It was either this, fake Louis Vuitton, there was even like a fake Birkin too in my high school, which was very random. I don't know why, but whatever. I loved this collection, and as a broke college boy, I could not buy Louis Vuitton Multicolor, so I bought a lot, well, I bought a few pieces of Dooney & Burke It back in the day, lost them in a fire. Here we are in 2022. I have a few pieces back. We're going to start with the smallest, work our way up with each category and brand. So first and foremost is the Dooney & Burke It coin purse. This style is actually very rare for the coin purse in the It collection. Typically, with the Dooney & Burke It coin purses, it's going to be more of like a flat style with like a keychain on the inside, kind of like a Louis Vuitton clay. I'm not putting my keys in there, whatever. But this piece, believe it or not, even though with the more mid-2000s era Dooney & Burke coin holders were in this style, it is so hard to find an it coin holder with this look. So with this style, you have the zipper across the top. You have a zippered compartment here in the front. I promise it opens, not very well, but it does. And then in the back, you of course have a little card slot. I don't carry change, it's 2022, I don't even carry cash. So what am I gonna put in here? My headphones. I'm going to give my poor, tired Balenciaga portemonnaie a break and use this for a minute, and I am so excited. So with the It collection, it came in black, it came in white, much like the Louis Vuitton Multicolor. However, the black gets foggy, the white yellows. I think a lot of these pieces just kind of found their way into the trash, unfortunately, so it is very hard to find It pieces, especially in good condition. Also, a lot of people don't remember that it was called the It collection, so you have to search like multicolor, rainbow, like it was the whole thing. So to find these pieces is very hard. So the first piece in the Hall is the Dooney & Burke coin purse. Sticking to the IT collection, I bought the wristlet and I found one in white and actually this Pachetta is flawless. I don't think this was ever used. Yes, it is authentic. I have compared everything. I own this wristlet in the past so I think I could clock a fake. This thing does have the key ring in it. So why would you want a wristlet with a key holder in it? I really don't know. Back in the day, I used this to hold my Fujifilm digital camera. Yes, a little one of those, you know, point and click cameras did fit in here. What am I gonna use for in 2022? I have absolutely no idea. Maybe my Shiseido blotting papers. I I really don't know. But I was like, you know what? It's it's very inexpensive. I had it in the past. Why not rebuy it? And inside a bag that is kind of a vibe, right? I mean, hello. You can't have one without the other, right? It's it's a vibe, we're here for it. This passes the Caleb Snell vibe check. Trademarked. <laughs> Now, last week, or I guess the last time I did a luxury thrift haul, which has been a minute, I found a Dooney & Burke It crossbody bag in the East-West style. I love multiples. Hello, my name's Caleb. I love multiples. It's no secret at this point. So I found it in the North-South style. <laughs> so honestly, I carried the East-West version for an entire week. 
that is how much I loved that bag. Now the other one, it did have some of like the blistering and like the lifting of the, the plastic uh, coating. This bag, aside from a few Vichetta spots, I know you clocked it already. We'll, we'll talk about it. It has some stains on the Vichetta. Not everything in my collection is perfect. There, I admit it. What was I getting at? Oh, I wanted the North, North South style version as well. And I found this on Poshmark next to nothing, maybe 20, 30 bucks. I don't remember. The back pocket does fit the iPhone Pro Max and Zane pointed it out. You could actually stick your phone in there and do undercover shopping. So maybe I'll utilize that and do like some like behind the scenes footage when I were out shopping for a vlog or something. I don't know. Now the interior is actually really spacious. It's just plain black twill. And then the inside, you just have the Dooney and Burke made in the USA tag. Yeah, this was still made in the USA. And then the heart. I'm not the biggest fan of the heart. For some reason, they put it on all of the it bags. Well, I take it off when I carry it most likely, but I'm happy to have a complete set in my collection. And then the great thing with this style too, if you're lucky to find one, you'll be able to remove the strap. So the strap actually comes in two sizes. So I have the full extension on here. This piece here in the middle, you could easily remove, and then you just have like a cute high shoulder bag version, which is totally fun. It's a vibe. Totally lightweight, perfect for summer, goes with those like fun, you know, 2000s era Y2K vibes. I love the It collection. I'm gonna try and find more pieces in good condition. I need to find a wallet. Uh, and then I'm probably done because this stuff does fall apart really bad if you don't take exceptional care of it. Even in the best conditions, it falls apart. Watch my other video for more info. But yeah, the Duty and Burke collection. Next on, let's check out some Coach. I think you guys are gonna get you know, pretty excited about this stuff. It's pretty cool. I found some really cool rare stuff. So I'm excited to share this with you guys. So the first item, are these little dust bags. And you're like, Caleb, why little dust bags? That's a little weird. I love that about you. Stay curious, keep asking questions. So this first one is actually incredibly rare. This one, not so much. This one, they just kind of included for a, hey, ha, you're a weirdo about a little dust bag. Let me give you something else for 20 bucks. This one is from the Tony Duquette collection. And for those of you who know, I do have one piece from the Tony Duquette for coach collection. Will I ever actually have a full price Tony Duquette piece? <laughs> Unless they want to gift me one please. Anyway, so I have one of the stick pens. This has the lapis lazuli. It's just the um, sunburst theme. This is really cute. I actually wore it. Um, I've worn this once to a party. It was a vibe. I didn't have the original dust bag. So this was actually the first thing I bought on Poshmark like five years ago. I, I don't really know, but it did not come with a dust bag. And then I was on eBay one day, just kind of like typed in coach and like ending soonest. And the dust bag for it was ending and it was like 20, 30 bucks. Like, well, I don't have a full set. Well, you know, I'll know I love a full set. So I bought it. And then they were kind enough to to include a second little jewelry pouch. So with this one, it has like a little interior pocket. So you could easily, you know, these are good for traveling. You can throw in like, um, drugs. stop it. <laughs> Not drugs. You could throw in like little pieces of jewelry, I guess is what they're for. So that's what you should use them for. And they keep things from getting scratched, which if you have like earrings with posts on the back, you know, you don't want them scratching everything and getting stuck in things. So little dust bags. Aren't you glad you clicked on this? Little dust bags. It's a vibe, I guess. Maybe, probably not. Does not pass the vibe check. Okay, so let's get on to some leather goods because that was a little boring, not gonna lie. I bought a dust bag. Okay, so next up is the world's stinkiest and grossest coach item. What is with me in buying stinky gross coach items? I will not know. This is from the Heritage Stripe collection and in the last unboxing, thrift haul, extravaganza, I unboxed, or well, I didn't really unbox, just kind of showed you guys, the cosmetics pouch and the mini skinny from this collection. Well, now I have the wallet. I kid you not, this thing reeks of mothballs. The minute I opened the box, poof, right in my face, mothballs. It's, it's coated canvas. Are moths gonna eat coated canvas? Am I, am, I, I don't know, maybe, whatever. So I thought it'd be a really cool idea if I sprayed um, Louis Vuitton cologne onto post-it notes and like tucked it in. Now it just smells like old lady. You've got some, nope, not a vibe. I was talking to Quirky, Classics with a Quirk, and she said, throw it in a Ziploc bag and put it in the freezer. So I'm gonna give that a shot once I'm done filming this because as it is, it's totally gross and unusable. Anyway, Heritage Stripe, who knew? This next bag is a disappointment. We're onto the bags now. There's actually some coach bags here to share with you guys. And the next one is a disappointment. I'm just gonna show you and then we're gonna dive in. It is the new Willis bag. You're like, Caleb, that's kind of cute. Why is the disappointment? I'm glad you asked again, stay curious. So I worked at Coach when this came out, the Poppy Willis collection, and I hated it. This was like our number one top seller. Literally anyone that walked in the door, you could sell one of these, guaranteed, easiest thing in the world to sell. However, I absolutely hated this collection for a couple of reasons. So first of all, this was, for some reason, I think it was like the 70th anniversary Coach new Willis bag, and it was a special edition. However, 
two things I hated about it. They marketed it under the Poppy collection, which was no shade to anyone that bought it at the time, but it was like the affordable, like, oh, ha, you're new to coach, welcome, um, kind of collection, which again, super easy to sell. Like you literally feel like hotcakes. You could guarantee if you couldn't sell one of these, you could sell a, you could sell a Poppy tote, it was so easy. Anyway, so it was originally branded under the Poppy collection. However, they gave this these bags the Legacy Stripe interior, which was, you know, the 65th Legacy collection was like the end all be all, like top tier, like this is a coach bag and they put in a poppy bag and uh, I just hated it at the time. These were everywhere, literally everyone had one. And the reason that I'm disappointed, so I, I always wanted the Vachetta version, which I have here in my hands. This is all Vachetta. Silver hardware, it's a vibe, has the crossbody strap. It's a little rough for wear considering what I paid. I think it was like 60, 70 bucks. So I didn't pay a whole lot for it. However, it is not one of the special edition ones. So initially when these came out, they said 70th anniversary special edition. And then the Coach Creed on the inside went into this like, you know, romantic paragraph about, oh, you bought a coach bag. This is to commemorate yada yada. And this is not one of those. So this came after the fact. I'm a little bit annoyed. You're like, Caleb, like, didn't you look at the listing? Didn't you look at the pictures? This was on Shop Goodwill. For those of you who shop on there, you know, their pictures can be very misleading, which we'll get into here in a minute. And I don't know if they knew that they didn't really disclose that, but Will I keep it? I mean, probably. I'll probably wear it, you know, running errands or something. If the, the back pocket fits a cell phone. It has the legacy stripes on the inside. So overall, it is a very cute bag. It's just not a special one. However, the next bag, that is very special. So this next piece is a complete set, and I am so excited. Back, I think a little bit before that came out, like I think this was probably like late 2000s, maybe 2009, 2010. Correct me if I'm wrong for those of you who know, but the op art collection. So this is the Amanda fold over flap clutch in the graphite op art. This bag is a vibe, it's a flex, it is absolutely gorgeous. And the best part, the tag is still attached. This retailed originally for $298, which I mean, all things considered is a good deal then and now. This, this chain, you guys, this is what sold me. This hefty ball chain, it's removable, so you could put it on something else and looks really cool. Also, the back of this has one of those famous kiss lock pockets that they were doing at the time and the world's most beautiful foil patent leather accents. I was a little disappointed because it's been a minute since I've seen one. The, the turn lock doesn't actually work or do anything. It just opens up, you'll have a zipper pocket here on the inside and then a full compartment down here at the back. Also came with its care tags, both for the signature and for the patent leather, the shiny metallic. And overall it's a vibe. Came with a dust bag, which they didn't mention in the listing. When I opened it up, it was in there. I'm like, okay, that's cool. How will I wear this, you ask? I don't know. I'll find a way, don't worry about it. Really good condition, like who bought this, didn't wear it, and then just gave it to Goodwill? Thank you. You're asking yourself like, what did you pay, Caleb? I don't know, maybe 19 bucks? Like it was not much. Like this, uh, of everything showing you here today was probably like the best deal. I, tags attached, hello. It's super cute, so I'm super excited. Now this next bag, this is a doozy and I am so, so, so pumped to have it in my collection. So back in the day, Coach, this was kind of before like, you know, like the whole like Coach X artist collab. So these are kind of lesser known, but Pierre Latin, the French illustrator did a collection for Coach. I think he did their advertising in the mid to late nineties at one point. So they invited him back. He did a collection of gorgeous totes. I think there are some platform heels. I think a wrist, there is a wristlet and maybe some scarves. I got one of the totes. This thing, you guys, when I show, when I tell you it's flawless, it is literally flawless. I don't think it was ever worn. I was lucky enough to get the umbrella beach tote. I mean, can we just have a moment of silence for this? This is absolutely stunning. So this bag, I, I wanted something from this collection. I love, you know, illustration art is some of like my favorite art and Pierre Latan is one of my favorite artists. I was so jazzed when this collection first came out. Why I didn't buy something at the time is beyond me. However, I think these totes, there were three. There was this one, the tinted cabana changing tint one. I'm buying that one next. I think there was a seahorse one, but it's kind of tacky because it just says coach across the front. Not here for that. So I just want the changing tint cabana thing. Um, these only retailed for 298 USD, if I remember right, maybe 398, but I'm leaning towards 298, which was such a steal. These were called the Coach Beach Collection. Like I said, this is before they did like Coach X, Keith Haring, you know, like the different artist collabs. So this was before that era. This bag, it has white patent leather, stitched detailing beads, hello, 
a vachetta flower here in the hat, which is kind of cute. And then the starfish luggage tag has the mattress ticking on the back. You have a metal hang tag, huge slip pocket here at the front. I mean, you can easily throw your phone in there, a book maybe if you wanted, and the turn lock is real. Oh, before we go inside though, white patent leather. It's not peeling, it's not stained, it's not discolored. And then same for the Vachetta trim underneath. And this orange stripe at the bottom, this was painted on after it's constructed. Not chipping, not peeling, not scuffed. I mean, the corners are flawless. You would think that a light bag like this would have tons of stains and show some use after 15 years. No, this looks like it just came off the coach shelf. I absolutely love it. And it has some like woven lurex. I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but it has like some woven lurex fibers through the canvas and it, it just catches the light, which I mean, think like, sandy beachy vibes this is 100 percent it when you go inside you flip this the world's biggest turn lock and then it opens up to the mattress ticking stripe on the inside beautiful orange trim zipper pocket on the back slip pocket on the front in true coach fashion i was pumped to see this bag so this was on shopgoodwill.com and i think it's one of the more higher priced items of what i'm going to show you today i think all in including shipping i might have paid like 110 120 i'm so happy that wraps up the coach haul so next up we have a little burberry all right you've made it this far congratulations this has been rambly we've seen some old stuff it is what it is it's a luxury thrift haul my earring is gucci thank you i just picked it up today i know you've been waiting to ask me down in the comments isn't it fabulous last up we have some burberry now this bag i have wanted for many years so this was originally out probably around the same time as the coach stuff i showed you 20 2008 2009 2010 and i was always waiting for the right color it originally retailed for like a maybe 398 like it wasn't much and it was always going to be like my throw around rainy day bag fast forward many years later i totally forgot the bag existed and then zane found it on shopgoodwill.com now as i mentioned before shopgoodwill.com can be a little crafty with the way they take photos and this bag i kid you not was disgusting when it arrived. It was so, so bad. I didn't really want to touch it. Didn't really want to put anything in it. I was like, okay, this is gross. It was just dirty. It was stained. It was nasty. And I threw it in the washing machine. Pause for dramatic effect. Yes, I put it in the washing machine. You're like, what, what bag is it, Caleb? What, what would you put in the washing machine? Well, let me show you. None other than the Burberry Buckley Tote. Now this thing, like I said, it, it's nylon. So originally I had been using like my method stain remover and the stain remover wasn't like coming out. Like it was just really soapy and kind of gross. So it's like, okay, I'm fed up. This is going in the washing machine. I paid like a hundred bucks for it. So if it falls apart, I mean, a hundred bucks is a hundred bucks, but at the end of the day, I wasn't going to use it anyway with how gross it was, but it came out beautiful beautifully you guys not a single stain in sight i mean there's a little discoloring up here but i think that was there before i bought a little bit of apple care leather conditioner so that way you know when i took it out of the wash the leather was a little sad not gonna lie oh and when i tell you they ship this folded up in an envelope folded up like a dish towel and shoved into an envelope not a padded mailer an envelope i was so mad um i was like hey listen you sent me a really dirty bag wasn't mentioned in the listing and then you put it in an envelope and but still charged me like twenty dollars shipping no and i love the blackout gunmetal hardware these side cinchers really don't do anything i mean this detail it is elastic but it doesn't really open up it doesn't really close they're just kind of there for for jazz i guess who knows but the interior so when you open it up it opens up to the haymarket check lining which is kind of a vibe so the interior have one zipper pocket and that's it and essentially i use this as like my rainy day bag or when i go to the salon they have bag hooks by the chair and i don't really trust like th there, there's 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 you know hair products and literal hair everyone's moving around i don't trust a nice bag hanging on the shelf but this i don't mind you can get all the the water and stuff on this you want it's just gonna wash right off i'll stick it in the washing machine again do i condone putting bags in the washing machine absolutely not it was a last ditch effort and it worked out in this instance super cute actually it fits on the shoulder i carried this for a few days to work recently and i didn't hate it it was kind of a vibe yeah it's just a burberry tote what more can you say all right guys that was my luxury thrift haul more contemporary than luxury but i think some contemporary can be considered luxury right this is obviously what hydrocodone and post-surgery kind of does to you so if you're also a fellow avid online shopper maybe have someone hold your phone or your credit cards because trust me it's a little hard not to shop when you're just laying on the couch and can't move that was a really fun week for me if you guys want to review on something in particular let me know maybe i'll do like a, a reel on instagram or something but yeah that was my luxury thrift haul i'm pumping the brakes 
real talk. Let's 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 dive in some real talk here. As you all know, I am working towards saving towards a big bag. I'm still on my Chanel journey. However, I'm on my bull gray journey right now and we are all working together. We're manifesting that the mosaic top handle comes back into stock. I actually called them this morning and put my name on the list for that and another piece if they come back into stock. So please, bad gods, rain upon me. Give me this mosaic top handle. I hope this was as fun for you as it was for me. I, this earring is literally going to rip my ear off. So the minute this camera turns off, I'm ripping this off. It is so heavy. It's a vibe though, right? I mean, duh, obviously, but it hurts so bad. Like my ear is dead. I rambled enough. Saint's probably rolling his eyes and telling me to shut up. So with that, I will say goodbye. I hope you all have a great rest of your weekend and I will see you all on Wednesday. All right, guys, bye-bye.